In this video, let us solve more problems based on volume of cylinder. The question reads like this. The circumference of the base of a cylindrical vessel is 132 centimeters and its height is 25 centimeters. Now we need to find out how many liters of water can the vessel hold. Before we start solving the problem, let us go through the brief outline of the methodology. Now, the data given is the circumference of the base of the cylindrical vessel. The circumference is nothing but 2 pi r and its height is 25 centimeters. Now, we need to find how many liters of water can it hold. That also means we need to find out the volume. In other words, we need to find the volume of the cylindrical vessel. Now, volume is given by, volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h for which we know pi is a constant, we've got h is 25 centimeter, we just need r. So to find r, we need to use this data, which is the circumference, 132 centimeters. So use 2 pi r and find r and then substitute in this formula and then find the volume or find the number of liters that this vessel can hold. This is how the problem has to be done. Now let us solve the problem. Now. 2 pi r equals 132 centimeters. We have 2 into pi as 22 by 7 into r equals 132. r equals 132 into 7 divided by 2 into 22. Solving this, we get r as 21 centimeters and we already have h as 25 centimeters. So the volume of the vessel is pi r square h. Pi is 22 by 7. R is 21. It is r square. So it is into another 21 into 25. Solving this, we get 34,650 centimeter cube. So therefore, the volume of the vessel is 34,650 centimeter cube. The problem is not done yet because they're asking how many liters of water can it hold. So if you want to convert centimeter cube into liters, you need to know that 1000 centimeter cube equals 1 liter. So therefore, 34,650 liters divided by 1000 so it is nothing but 34.65 liters. So therefore, the vessel can hold 34.65 liters of water. So this is also the volume of the vessel. Now let us quickly solve another problem. Now this problem reads like this. The volume of a cylinder is 448 pi centimeter cube and height is 7 centimeters. Now you don't have to get confused here because the volume is given in terms of pi. They just haven't simplified pi. They haven't substituted the numerical constant for pi and, they just, and they've just retained it as pi. So this is also a valid volume of a cylinder. All you have to do to know the specific volume is substitute pi by 22 by 7. And its height is 7 centimeters. Find its lateral surface area and the total surface area. Okay, before we solve the problem, let us just see how this problem should be solved. Now, we have height and we've got the volume. Now we need to find its lateral surface area and the total surface area. The lateral surface area is nothing but the curved surface that covers the cylinder, excluding the top and the bottom. Now the formula for lateral surface area, as we all know, is 2 pi r h centimeter square. Now 2 pi and h, okay, let me write it here. The lateral surface area, LSA equals 2 pi r h centimeter square. 2 is a constant, pi is a constant, h is given in the question. We don't have r. So how do you find r? Use the volume and find r. Because volume equals pi r square h. So substitute in the place of volume 448 pi and equate it to pi r square h. And we will just have one unknown in r. So then we can find r and substitute in lateral surface area. Now this gives us a lateral surface area. Now how do we find the total surface area? Total surface area is nothing but the lateral surface area plus the areas of the top and the bottom of the cylinder. 
and the top and the bottom of the cylinder are in the form of a circle and the area of the circle is pi r square. So this is the way we have to solve the problem. Let's do that. So first step is to find this r so that we need to substitute or use this equation. So volume is given as 448 pi equate this to pi r square h is given as 7. Now we can cancel pi on both the sides and we get r square equals 448 by 7 which is nothing but 64. 7, 6 times is 42, remainder is 2, 28, 7, 4 times is 28. Now r square is 64, r is square root of 64, so square root of 64 is 8. So the radius that we need is 8 centimeters. Now we can find the lateral surface area. The lateral surface area equals 2 into pi which is 22 by 7 into r which is 8 centimeters into height which is 7 centimeters. Now 7 and 7 gets cancelled and we have the lateral surface area as 352 centimeters square. Now that we found the lateral surface area, let us find the total surface area. Total surface area is nothing but the lateral surface area plus the areas of the top and the bottom of the cylinder. So the area of circular ends is nothing but the area of one circular end is pi r square, but we need 2, the top and the bottom. So therefore it is 2 pi r square. 2 into 22 by 7, r as we found is 8. Now let us straight away find the total surface area and let us substitute this in there. The total surface area equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square centimeter square, which is nothing but we can take out 2 pi r is common and all we have left in 2 pi r h if you take out 2 pi r is h and here if you take out 2 pi r you've got r. So 2 into 22 by 7 into 8 into 7 plus 8 centimeters square which is nothing but on solving this we get 754.28 centimeters square. So here we are, we found the total surface area. The total surface area of the given cylinder is 754.28 centimeters square. This ends the problem.